you need differential equations in your life and to prove it we're going to be solving the differential equation dy dx equals y minus x how do we approach this well what we need to do is we need to subtract y on both sides because if we rewrite the equation down so dy dx minus y equals negative x this is in the form of a linear differential equation a linear a linear differential equation is basically the result of the product rule, which is a differentiation technique applied to a function, but it's incomplete. So we need to somehow multiply both sides by some function in order to make this actually look like the result of a product rule. And what exactly do we do? Well, in this case, we need to look at this minus here, the function in front of y is negative 1. And we need to use this negative 1 in some sort of function that we can multiply both sides by in order to get the result of a product rule. Let me show what it is. If you've already studied differential equations before, you're going to know that we need to multiply both sides by p of x. And p of x is going to be e to the power of the integral of whatever's in front of that y, which is negative 1, then with respect to x. And so now if we do this in our head, p of x is therefore going to be equal to e to the power of negative x. And now we're going to use this p of x, we're going to multiply both sides by it. So therefore we're going to be getting e to the minus x dy dx. And the minus is, yeah, that's fine. E, yeah, minus, yeah, minus e to the power of minus x times y equals e to the minus x times negative x. There we go. So now as you can already tell, so e to the minus x, that's our, already, that's our function. So we differentiate the second function, so that's dy dx. And then we add the derivative of the first function, which is e to the well, negative e to the minus x, which explains for why there's no plus there. And I multiply it by the original, well, the other function, but the normal function, which is y, and then equals whatever. So we can say that the derivative of e to the minus x times y is equal to minus x times e to the minus x. Now what we want to do is we want to integrate both sides by respect to x to get rid of that d with subscript x there. So we integrate here, and then dx. I'll probably do this in a different color. So we're gonna have an integral here, we're gonna have a dx there, we're gonna have an integral here, we're gonna have a dx there. So this and that and that will cancel out. So therefore, we're gonna be getting e to the minus x. We'll have to change color again. Okay. So we're gonna get e to the minus x times y equals the integral of negative x times e to the minus x dx. How do we solve this integral now? We need to use differentiation, not differentiation, we need to use integration by parts, sorry. And so we're going to be using the di method. Plus, minus, and then of course, we're going to have a plus and I'll explain to you soon why. So we're going to be differentiating minus x, because that'll eventually reach zero, minus x there, and then we're going to integrate e to the minus x, that'll be very easy to integrate. So if we differentiate minus x, that's going to be minus 1, and then the derivative of a constant is just going to be 0. Then if we integrate e to the minus x, that's going to be negative, e to the minus x, and if we integrate again, that's just going to be e to the minus x, over and over and over. So now what we need to do, our integral, so the integral from negative x, not from, but the integral of negative x times e to the minus x dx is therefore going to be equal to, we multiply these functions together, so minus x times minus e to the minus x, so that's going to be x e to the minus x, then plus, so the minus times that minus 1, so 1, and then we multiply this, well to say multiply that, so minus 1 times e to the negative x, and then we negate that. So then this is going to, this is then going to be e to the minus x plus a constant c. And there we are. 
that's the result of the integral. So now we can plug this into what we had before to solve our differential equation. So we're going to be getting e to the minus x times y equals x times e to the minus x plus e to the minus x. Let me just check if that's correct. Yep. Okay. Yes. Okay. We're good. So what we can do now, I forgot the plus c. No, I mean mark loss there, but anyways, if we divide both sides by e to the minus x, that, 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 then this is what we're going to get. We're going to be getting y equals x plus 1 plus c divided by e to the minus x. But the property of exponents is that we can bring this e to the minus x up to the numerator. So this is going to look like, so therefore, y is e going to be equal to e plus, no, not e, x plus 1 plus c times e to the x. There we go. This is our solution. Probably tell there's infinitely many solutions, but this is the form of function that will solve our differential equation. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.